Good morning, Gross Lawn. I woke up pretty early uh, this this morning just because uh, there's a lot of stuff to do. It's a busy week. This is the week preparing for Mother or for Valentine's Day. So I have like payroll I got to get on top of, and I have flowers that are coming in. And uh, anyways, there's a lot to do. But I woke up with a little bit of a surprise, and I I don't know if you'll be able to see this. Yeah, that's right. We got snow. It looks super pretty. I love uh, I love snow on the trees. Yeah, it doesn't look like a lot, but for Washington, that's pretty rare to get snow a couple times in one season. So here we go. Hopefully, it won't be a big issue, but let it snow, I guess. <laughs> another route trying to get out of here uh, to get to the, the, the highway so I can get to my destinations but it's it's pretty hairy I mean there's lots of trees that have fallen and uh, a lot of road work happening here not really any plowing going on right now it's mostly just trying to get the roads like all the trees up and out of the way And I thought spring was coming. <laughs> we got so much snow last night and it's still coming down. It's crazy. Will went out this morning and I was so worried about him, but he was able to get where he was going, apparently. He called me and said that we're, there were some roads closed down, so he had to detour a little bit. But he just had to go to work today because um, Valentine's Day is coming, so it's gonna be super busy for us. But. Uh, anyway, we're out in the snow. These flakes are huge. I don't know if you can see them, but it is just gorgeous out here. I'm not really a snow person, but the kids sure are. So we spent like an hour bun getting all bundled. Charlie, are you all bundled? And we're gonna go find Bella, Liam, and Juliet. They went to the neighbor's house. Should we go find them, Char? This is the most snow we have ever had. Like the whole nine years I've lived in Washington. This is unreal. It's been the craziest winter. All right, Charlie, do you want me? Do you see where the kids are? They're up here. They're all the way up the road. So we are gonna hike up there. How are you doing, buddy? Are you okay? Do you want me to hold you? Yeah? Okay, let's hold you. Oh. Well, we found the kids. Liam, how's the sledding? Good. Good? I want to see you go down. Okay. Are you waiting for a different sled? Yeah. Yeah? There's yeah. Juliet over there. Yeah. How you doing, Juliet? Yeah. Can I go down with you? Yeah. You're going to stay a little longer? Yeah. Do you want to go down the sled with me? Yeah. Okay, come on, let's do it. Let's go down the sled. Oh, there it goes. <laughs> Here goes another one. Come on, Charlie. Come on, Charlton. You can do it. Okay, wait for me, okay, Juliet? Go. Whoa. <laughs> that was pretty fun. <laughs> okay, let's do this. Charlie, do you want to come? No. Okay, I'll be right back, okay? No, you do it. Wait for me. Ready? Set. Go. cold yet? No. You're good? Yeah. You sweetheart. All right, should we see if we can talk Charlie into going down? Charlie didn't go down the last time because he got hurt. Yeah, maybe he'll go this time. That was awesome. <laughs> oh, <no. laughs> Come on. You ready? I'll go go. I only cut off about five fingers. Good job, Bella. Big <laughs> better. Yeah. yeah. All right, I'm gonna take the two little ones home. Well, I made it to work. It stopped snowing now. There's sun out. I don't even know what to do. This is crazy. 
anyways, uh, my brother's going to get another load of flowers, and uh, and then we're gonna be starting to check it in and see how they all came in. But yeah, it's kind of fun. Glad that the weather's cooperating a little bit because it was a little bit gnarly this morning, as you saw. Here's uh, some tropicals that came in. Monstera leaves, Anthurium, and these are curly tops here. Anyways, hopefully Marie gets power back. She's been without it for a little while. Hi, so it's we have a power outage for a while and it's been snowing really, really hard this past morning. We went sledding earlier and now Julian's still playing outside. The power went out though just right. Juliet, I found out, is a total diehard when it comes to the snow. She's been out there, she went out a second time by herself in the front yard for like hours. Well, maybe not hours, but a long time in my book. And tell them what you made, Jewel. I made this little thing for, this big thing for a cat out of snow. And I made a little door and only for a cat to get through. But it was huge. It was huge? Like a uh -huh. huge house with a little door that only a kitty could get in? Oh, uh -huh. and I saw your cat out there with you. Yeah. She was freezing I, her buns out there with you. Yeah. yeah. Actually, I tried some ways with with my hat off uh -huh. to, to warm her up. Aww. But it kept on falling up. So like, <laughs> she just needs to be in the garage. Yeah, so you put her in the garage to warm up. Cool. We decided to do a little bit of sports tonight. And uh, anyways, we found a good opportunity to come to our church. They have a gym in here. And luckily tonight, no one's using it. So basketball, we did. We go. Show me what you got, Bella. Can you say air ball? Oh. Air ball. Get my ball. Get it, basketball. Oh. Nice catch, Bella. There you go. Good. Power. He says girls can't throw footballs and catch them. <laughs> yeah. oh, Here's the thing, like your back foot, your back foot, you're like up like that. I know. Keep your feet down. <laughs> you can do your step. <laughs> All right, and Liam and I have been playing basketball over here, and Liam has some proofs. Woo! Oh, I should have videoed that, okay. I'll video him shooting. You got this, Liam. Oh, it's so close. Yeah, nice job, bud. She even made a, almost. Okay, now I'm gonna try and steal it from you. Oh, close. Pretty fun. Beautiful, good job, Liam. All right, now turn around and shoot. Hi, Gross Lawn. I, I have a special showing uh, for you today. This is the first time I've seen it too. Liam approached me and said, um, um, I want to know if I'm what I should put in my survival kit and what I shouldn't. So we're going to check out his survival kit. Ready? Here we go. All right, Liam, what are the essentials for, uh, for your, your kit? Well, I Survival don't really kit. have any like major things I really want in it. 
really, but I will just put in anything that I think might help in a survival situation. Okay, first item, what do you got? Hatchet. Yeah, everyone needs a hatchet. You gotta carry one with you. Attach it to your belt. You know, don't leave home without it. Go ahead, Liam. And then I also have a pocket knife. Oh, yeah. You gotta have a knife. Nice, sharp. Pen, pencil. A pen and a pencil, okay. And also the Cub Scout Essentials. Oh, a camping list and Cub Scout Essentials. This camping list. Very good. Okay. This Cub Scout Essentials. First aid kit, trail food, filled water bottle, whistles, okay. sun protection, and flashlights. Nice. Okay, what else do you have? Glasses. Of course, you gotta be cool. Which has a lot of cool stuff. Not to mention, don't tell mom. It has matches in it. What? <laughs> yep. Look, some matches in it. I have this, and then apparently some hand sanitizer, some band aids. Cool. And then some bigger band aids. Okay. Uh, Some like, um, what do you call this bandage stuff? And tape. Mm -hmm. and put it on more tape. Oh, I see them now. Matches. No oh, boy. Pums, and that stuff that you put on your knee that helps. Mm. It. Kind of a cleanser. Yeah. yeah. Antibiotic ointment. Another pocket knife. Oh. Yeah. A Swiss Army knife. Oh. One is not good enough. You need two and a hatchet. Not to mention, I also want um, a tent knife. And then I've got a, um, what do you call these? A jack knife. Okay. Well, okay, well, keep going. Also, Show me your stuff, man. That's like a multi something knife. I have some rope. Okay. And another compass. They're just something where you just can look at. A candle. Well, it helps you to find the way, yeah. though. Oh, there's a little stove, huh? That's one of the reasons I wanted matches in there. I mean, I'm not sure why I put these in, but I just <coughs> decided I wanted to put them in. Whittling tools. Oh yeah, you need to know how to whittle in an emergency. And then remember your knots. Oh, he has his knot reminder. Yeah, unless you were trying to climb. Up I know the square the knot. I used to know the bowling. Uh, I know the clove hitch. Christian Liberty Nature Reader. Yeah, I've been reading that book. They just have all sorts of nature, it like animals, animals and. Yeah. Just What's it gonna be? Wait, wrong pocket. Too many pockets in there. Yep. Oh, walkie-talkie. Need that. And yeah, so if you're lost, you can, and if you have a walkie-talkie, cool. and then they also have flashlights. You can tell them where you are. I need to turn it on. Power on. Twelve. Okay, one sec. There. Oh, it's blinding me. Oh. Anything else in there? Nope. I think that's all that I have in here. All right. So we got to review his survival pack. Is he missing anything, folks? No. Nope. Let me know in the comments. You think you could survive like that? I, don't, I didn't see any water. Yes, Bella, Bella has a very good point. Yeah. Water and food. But how about, took care of how that. about clothing? Oh, that's true, but you guys took care of that. That's right, you got your own hatchet and knife. You could just, you know, find food. You could forage through for berries and uh, try to kill little squirrels or something. Oh, Bella doesn't like that. No squirrels for Belle. Help for me. Oh, let's, okay. let's take a look at the project hard so over here. These are the girly ones that they've been working on. Looks really nice. And look at these ones. 
trying to make him a little bit more masculine with twine. Can you feel the masculine <laughs> masculinity of that? It's now we have to fill these up. Yes. Good job weaving, babe. Oh, you better do that. That's pretty she easy. Is smart. I can't write it me on a billion times. No, you have to write the other person's name too. That's true. That's right. Okay, go put your pack away so you don't lose your stuff, okay? No, but uh, the reason I wanted you to get into that was to tell me what I um, want in it and what I don't want in it. Oh, it all looked good to me. I, I would say, you know, you could potentially get some more stuff in, but right now I think that's a great start. And I'll see a goofy stash, some other pixie dust, and I'll fly myself back.